How's good, the How's the new dad? Well, uh, twice uh, I gotta work twice as hard this time. So this is a true <laughs> test. 2020 hasn't been all that bad for me since you know this is a blessing worth more than gold. Uh uh Kailan ba? Kailan pinanganak? June 16, Tuesday, 1 a.m. Wow. And my first baby girl. So I said, okay, this world is gonna still be a better place, no matter how you know challenging the situation is. Everyone is in it together. So I think this is a good uh, silver lining for me. Okay. Hindi ba nakakatakot mga anak during this COVID time? Kamusta yung hospital and experience? Well, uh, what's good was uh, that they, they do all... It, it was just tighter. Mas mahigpit lang yung mga protocol nila bago ka pumasok. Dahil uh, bago ka makapasok, ginawa na ako ng uh, COVID test. Uh, so negative naman. And... Because I'm negative, I'm allowed to go in and out to accompany my, my life partner. And it, it's been good naman. So, you know, we're here now. We're trying to, you know, get that milk money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, come on, we'll start the discussion. And uh, I think uh, this is a very timely discussion on restaurants. And I know it's been a difficult uh, situation for the industry and uh, we wanted to um, talk about this you know the survival story of restaurants and um, we'll play the video first all right thank you all right good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon kian good afternoon anton thanks for having me Yes, good afternoon to everybody who's watching in the replay or watching live right now. You can join our discussions by putting your questions, comments, suggestions in the comment section below. Uh, we're talking to Kian about, you know, the survival story of a restaurateur. And maybe, Kian, maybe you can explain first uh, your different restaurants. Kahit ako, naguluhan na rin ako, ang dami yung restaurants. And that's the story of those restaurants. Well, uh, we've, we've uh, founded Persia Grill Concept Group, which uh, has been in the business for over a decade. So from Persia Grill, we branched out and did other projects that are a spin-off. Like in Poblacion, we have Kite Kebab Bar, and we also have another Kite Kebab Bar in Salcedo Village near the park. Then we also opened a new concept uh, called Lobo Filipina Tavern, that's to give tribute to the other half of my roots, my other heritage. My mom, she's Ilonga. So, kabaluman ko mag-Ilonggo, Jutay lang. So, I had to do that. And uh, we also do catering under the Shiraz Gourmet Group. So, our catering services is not limited to just Persian. We do international dishes like, you know, slow roasted, uh, eight-hour roast beef, uh, you know, baked salmon, you name it. Other cuisines, we're getting into that now. Okay, and um, come uh, so maybe let's get up to date on what's happening with uh, the different restaurants for Persia Grill. Are you guys, you guys are open, no? And uh, you're doing the kebab kits. Maybe you can share more about what you've been doing there. Well, I, I I'm uh, proud to say that we never closed since uh, the day since day one of ECQ. Yeah, we we have this motto: "Dapat may pumasok kesa zero." So we found a way to stay open. <laughs> we didn't, hindi namin iwan bukas lahat ng restaurants. Uh, namili lang kami ng branches na i-open. Isa sa BGC, tapos dalawa sa Makati. Yun na lang iniwan namin bukas. And uh, uh, naghanap kami ng paraan na mag-shuttle ng staff namin agad with our own uh, delivery van para sunduin sila yung mga malalapit. Binigyan namin ng job opportunity pa rin. So sa awa ng Diyos, never kami na zero. At uh, not only that, we were encouraged to make our frozen food concept. Uh, this was our plan even before the pandemic happened. But because of the pandemic, parang nag-double time kami sa pag-launch. So, mabilis kami naka-launch ng frozen goods na binibenta na namin online habang mm. takeout lang yung pwede nung simula ng ECQ. Oh, kamusta ba yon? Uh, so we just tried your kebab kits, no? Uh, I actually we actually like that uh, you can buy an entire feast, no? Na frozen, cook at home. You also sell the sauces. Can you tell us more about this? 
well the concept behind this the, the it's uh because we've been working on this idea we had all the machinery prepared and we even have and we when we did the label uh the sticker we even put uh, a qr code which pag tinapatan ng cellphone mo didiretso ka sa how to cook step by step process oh, nga, eh. to cook at home o mas madali siyang magets and uh, the philosophy behind this is para maiba naman hindi yung fast food na yung nakasanaya mo lagi mo kinakain at least yung food namin i can you know proudly say it's made in small batches with no preservatives and yun yung edge namin it's real food for you know people who are health conscious and we have vegan options we have vegetarian options also available and we make it in small batches to ensure freshness and we even oh. made our on uh, our online shop which is a end to end service when you type in uh, persiagrill.ph www mm. it's a, it's a end to end service na user friendly you click mo lang assorted iba ibang items tapos pati yung rider naka built in na doon pati yung area mo kung magkano yung delivery fee naka fixed cost na siya Oo. And uh, ang sarap nitong uh, Oxbray. Marami ba nag-order nito? Marami rin. Surprisingly, uh, because uh, it's not for the it's not for the uh, faint-hearted. Medyo exotic siya. <laughs> Pero Uh-oh. ang description ko sa lasa niya, parang a cross between uh, malinam lang na egg tapos yung consistency ng bone marrow. Parang, but what I do is ginagawa kong tostado yan eh. Medyo crunchy sa labas, tas moist sa gitna. Ah, yun yung timpla ko. Ayan ang so, timpla mo. Oo, oh, oh, yun yung style ko. Kanya-kanyang <laughs> execution, di ba? Yung iba gusto nila, medium. Yung iba, oh. well done, depende. Ah, sarap rin yung sauce. The sauce, uh, I think the, the bottle. Original. Yes, yeah, the original. Yes, the original garlic well. sauce. That's uh, uh, one of our best sellers because our original Persian Grill garlic sauce is actually, uh, you can mix it with everything. Salad, chicken, beef, fried chicken, pwede rin. Kahit ano, hindi, hindi, it doesn't have to be Persian food. You can, uh, my friends, they put it under, uh, pag magagawa sila ng lechon, kasawasaw nila sa lechon nila, para maiba lang. Gumibili lang sila ng sauce. Tapos yung arson na hot sauce namin, made with uh, fresh ingredients, tapos locally sourced uh, yung chili, kilala namin yung mga pinagsusourcean. So nakakatulong din sa mga okay. local farmers. All right. Now for Persia Grill though, um you know considering what you've underwent in uh, during the quarantine and now diba open up for dining, is it really enough for uh all of this takeout plus 30% dining to survive during this pandemic? Honestly no, it's not it's not uh, sufficient. We're actually you know uh taking manageable uh losses like we're, we're getting hit i think everyone's getting hit now the name of the game is to stay afloat to stay in the game and not be game over yun yung mindset namin ngayon so what we've done is uh, what i can suggest other people to do uh, other restaurant tours is uh, talk to your landlords you know i'm talking about the stand alone kasi mm-hmm. uh, most of our restaurants are stand alone hindi kami nasa loob ng mga mall o malalaking companies na may nakaayos na yung mga parang uh, health program nila for this pandemic uh-huh. so sa amin individual landlords kasi stand alone iba-iba yung isip nila kung personality nila so kailangan mong templa yung tamang templa para humingi ng konting assistance kumbaga discount so we can survive kasi we're in it together kung magsaraman kami, sino magrarenta sa inyo ngayon? ba diba? Parang mahirap rin maghanap ng mm-hmm. tenant agad dahil medyo hesitant talaga yung mga tao eh. Lumabas, mm-hmm. parang may fear pa rin eh. And that fear you can see kahit may dine-in na 30%, hindi pa rin napupuno yung 30% na yun. Siguro 10% lang lumalabas. Mm-hmm. And um, let's go to the other restaurant. Paano yung poblasyon? I mean, I know you're part of that poblasyon network, di ba? And uh, that's area is tough. Uh, paano yung poblasyon ngayon? Your poblasyon, and- parang, parang zombie land. Zombie land yung poblasyon ngayon. Parang hindi ako sanay makita yung poblasyon. Minsan nagda-drive by ako. Pag uh, medyo sunset na. Wala talagang tao sa streets. And uh, you know, a big chunk of poblasyon is tourism. A big part of Poblacion's nightlife is the people 
the foreigners and you know yung mga nagbabakasyon dito para sa nagsistay sila sa mga hostel around di ba so i think that's a big part of the poblacion nightlife and at the same time people are still hesitant to go out and uh, for now both our poblacion branches are still closed but we're looking to open this coming july maybe mid july we're going to try to slowly open it up kasi yung food namin doon yung lobo ano siya mas uh, filipino comfort food tapos katabi niya agad yung kite eh may roof deck kami and i think yun yung isang asset na pwede naming magamit dahil di ba nakakulong yung mga tao sa mga condo sa mga bahay nila at kailangan nila ng medyo may garden naman kami may feel ka na parang nasa urban jungle ka so pumunta ka sa roof deck namin green roof surrounded by plants so you'll feel a little you know good vibes good energy so I'm looking forward to maybe opening up uh, this mid-July. And uh, what do you think of the bars? I mean, diba Lobo has a bar, diba? Uh, would that open, do you think? Is there a chance it would open? Well, uh, our, our, we call ourselves resto bars. We're not just uh, a place that serves alcohol. Uh, 80% of our products are food because uh, mm. that's that's our, our forte. So food talaga kami expert. Yung drinks, parang ano lang yun eh, add-on na lang. Kung baga, kakain ka ng beef, gusto mo a glass of red wine. Kung kakain ka fried chicken, maybe you'll have a beer or two beers. It's not really, you know, heavy drinking. More of like pairing, relax with your friends. It's not really yung magulo na atmosphere, na club scene. So I think it's still pasok sa pag nag-open na yung GCQ kasi we're leaning towards more of a resto than a bar. So it's a resto bar concept. And mm-hmm. uh, I just want to say, Anton, during this ECQ, nung, nung ECQ, yung mas maigpit pa yung quarantine, nag-isip kami ng, ng paraan para hindi lang kami mag-benefit but to give job opportunity to people. Kasi marami nga nawala ng trabaho. So ginawa namin, up to now, we're still doing, we're open to resellers of our frozen products. So we give them a wholesale price for a minimum of 10,000 pesos only. They can pick assorted items from our uh, menu list. Tapos, yung profits na yun, mapupunta sa kanila. Ang kailangan lang nila gawin is to penetrate their own circle or their own villages. Kunyari, taga-south sila or north. Tapos, uh, di ba, yung mga viber groups na yan. Maraming uh, mm-hmm. natuwa na binigyan namin ng opportunity. Mababa lang yung reseller fee namin, eh, 10K. Less percentage of wholesale discount. So if they want to learn more, they can just contact uh, Persia Grill Facebook page and uh, our team would be happy to assist them in any inquiry they have. Uh-oh. Um, as we uh, discussed that, uh, do you think that's very effective, yung mga community reselling um, in terms of, you know, versus the takeout versus the dine-in? Um, is that really taking off, do you think? Well, well, I think in this situation we're in, you have to open up all avenues to earn. And you can't rely on just one source of income. Like if we just rely on takeout, malaking porsyento na pupunta sa mga third-party delivery service providers, di ba? Mm, Tapos yeah. if umasa tayo sa dine-in, ilang porsyento lang lumalabas. Kahit sabihin mo na pinayagan ng gobyerno na 30%, eh 10% mm-hmm. lang pupunta. Hindi, ta- hindi talaga tayo magsosurvive. So it's time to be... Uh, Philippine Army Knife or a Persian Army Knife. Yan ang uh, running joke ko. Kung may Swiss Army Knife, dapat may Philippine or Persian Army Knife, you have to create new ways. Be, you know, you know, innovate, pivot, change your business model, do something new just to have extra income because, you know, uh, this is unprecedented times and uh, I never imagined to be in this situation but I think God gives us only what we can handle and we are this is a test of our character as human beings if you know if the government won't be there for us we have to be there for our fellow man and help the next person so by doing this reseller win-win situation both of us gets a piece of the pie because all they have to do is just use their cell phone and connect to the viber groups or mga grupo nila and we do all the heavy lifting and the legwork they just have to resell it and make space in their freezer. So I don't think, you know, that's a hard thing to do. Mm-mm. That's for all the brands, no? My Kite Food, my Persia Grill, tama ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're also uh, adding new uh, 
uh, dishes in there, if they look at our website, makikita nila padagdag ng padagdag yung gross. Minsan, meron pa nga kami, nagbebenta kami basmati rice, yung long grain. Uh, That's uh, uh, actually, uh, we sell it uh, as the, hindi pa luto, ah, kayo na magluluto, may cooking instruction. And what's a uh, fun fact about that basmati rice is low glycemic index. So yung mga may diabetes dyan, eh, ito ay mababa sa sugar content at madaling matunaw sa katawan. So marami kami kliyente na ito talaga yung hinahanap nilang rice kasi hindi siya high in sugar. Eh. And uh, we're adding other things also slowly. Pati garlic bread nga, gumagawa na rin kami. <laughs> so <laughs> this, pande- this, pare, this pandemic really brought out the best and the worst in people. So when I say that, it's like you have to push yourself. Kung hindi mo tutulungan sarili mo, hintay ka lang sa awa ng Diyos. Maghihintay ka ng matagal na matagal na panahon. <laughs> Oo nga. So, pero, pero we, yeah. Ian, where do you get your ano, motivation? Yeah? Kasi nga, a lot of, um, we, we've seen already a lot of re- restaurateurs giving up, di ba? You know, selling already their products. But but you, you're like fight, fight, fight. And there's still a lot of restaurateurs na ganun din, fight, fight, fight. Where do you get the motivation uh, to do it? Well, uh, I, I, I see my kids. When I see my kids, man, I said, you're never going to go hungry. That's why I opened a restaurant. You're never going to go hungry. So, <laughs> nung nagsimula yung lockdown, kami unang kumain ng pagkain namin kasi wala, hindi pa mabenta lahat, di ba? Tapos pinamimigay namin sa mga staff namin yung mga ibang food kesa masira. And then my other motivation is to, to test myself like, hey, this is part of the game. If life is so easy, it won't be exciting. And, uh, I think you have to motivate yourself. And uh, one one other uh, factor or secret, I should say, that I do is I stay active. Even if sarado yung gym, I use body weight exercises. I, basta magpawis ka. Kasi when you exercise or move your body, you release endorphins. And this happy hormones leads to creativity. And you will, you know, you won't be uh, lethargic. Hindi ka magiging tamad. Alam mo yun? Pag, kasi pag nasanay kang nakaupo lang, Parang hindi mabubus yung dugo mo eh. yung, yung energy levels mo, low eh. So you have to constantly challenge yourself. And I, I, I saw that being active during this lockdown and thinking of my family and using them as my motivation made me more, uh, more of a, a man and a, a stronger man so that I don't want them to go through the hardship. I'll, 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 I'll take the hit. Ako yung frontliner. Ako okay lang. Ako lalabas yan. Ako yung nakamaskara nung ECQ. Ako taga errand boy. <laughs> Nagmamotor ako. Ako pupunta ng grocery. Okay lang. You know, I'll do it. whatever it takes. That's what it's, it means to be a father, you know. It's a heavy word. You know it yourself. You have a beautiful children. And we have to be strong for our children. We can't be a pushover. Uh-oh. Now, um, I know that uh, during this quarantine, everything went digital. Um, maybe can you share with us your learnings on marketing your products during in digital? Ano ba? What works? And maybe other restaurateurs could also, um, you know, learn from your learnings. <clears throat> well, uh, we maximize our online presence. Online na talaga kami dati pa, pero mas nagboost kami nung sinabi na bawal lumabas, bawal ganyan. So, my whole team, when I say my team, it's our immediate family. So, that's uh, my sister-in-law, my brothers, my, my, my life partner, my parents. They, you know, they got into, you know, posting on their personal pages. But besides that, we availed of the sponsored ads. And, you know, it's easy to reach people this way more than the traditional, uh, you know, everything is more online, social media, di ba? So we, we availed the sponsored ads a lot and we we created an online shop where www.persiagrill.ph where it, it was so it's much easier to pay and then you can we use different uh, payment platforms from uh, WeChat Pay, PayMaya, uh, GCash uh, to bank transfers to credit card you can you can use your credit card online. So we made it easier for the clients the people to do it. And word of mouth help because yung mga kakilala namin or yung mga friends ko sa Facebook na yung kaibigan ko talaga. Hindi yung friends na hindi mo nakikita. <laughs> mga kaibigan <laughs> ko talaga. <laughs> Minessage ko sila privately. Sabi ko, bro, eto, may bago akong produkto. Eight hours slow roasted USDA beef belly. 
money back guarantee. Sila una kong tinesting kasi bagong product, we started to come up with new food na hindi lang Persian eh. Yung mga ready to eat din. Sila hmm. una kong mga binentahan. Parang, para itest sila. Sabi ko sa kanila, huwag mo akong bayaran pag hindi masarap. Kunin mo muna yung produkto, after mo kainin, bayaran mo ako. Ganon ka-confident ako sa ginawa ko. Bro, I'm happy to say, wala pa namang hindi nagbayad. So, na- natuwa sila. <laughs> So it gave me more confidence to create new foods. Like uh, you know, we have baked Iberian chicken. We have, you know, uh, we're coming out with bone marrow with herb sauce, na ready uh-huh. to eat. So we also put this online. So if you go to our website, nakalagay frozen, ready to cook at home. Tapos sa baba nakalagay ready to eat. Kung tamad ka magluto, which means and ba happens to the mm-hmm. best of us. Ako gusto yes. ko ready to eat nai. Eh. Ini ko uh-huh. na lang. Kasi ayoko rin mag- maghanda, di ba? Gusto mag-relax. So we have options like that. Oo. And uh, where do you get those ideas? Like, uh, what do you think work in terms of... Siyempre, you're known for Persian, di ba? And um, you're thinking of other uh, unique products. Uh, what do you think work? Uh, kasi I know a lot of people are thinking of new products to sell also. Hindi lang during the quarantine, moving forward, di ba? Uh, what do you think works in terms of thinking... Does it start ba with a recipe that you know? Or does it start with people asking, oh, meron ka bang ganito? And then you make something uh, for that meat. Well, you said it best, Anton. You have to listen to both sides. The side of the, the consumers, the people who are craving for something, and the, the, the inner chef in you. Yung isang side na yun, yung inner chef. Ako, hindi ako chef. I call myself CFO. Chief flavor of So, ako sinisigurado ko masarap sa palet ko yung lasa. And what I do is, um, I basically try to experiment on my own first. And then I'll prepare a dish that's new. New to me, new to ano. And then what I would do is, uh, I would let my immediate family hear mm-hmm. the facts. And what, what, how is it like? And then adjust from there. Okay. Parang na ano mo. Yo, so, um, just in terms of, like, for example, you have an established brand. Um, do you consider all these other products uh, separate branding ba? O wala lang? Basta food. You're selling the food under Persia Grill. Well, uh, what we did is, we did the Persia Grill concept group. So, under the Persia Grill concept group, we have Shiraz Gourmet, which is our catering arm. So, sinabi ko, why don't we we innovate under the catering arm? Kasi, sa, nung hindi pa nangyari yung pandemic, malakas yung catering namin sa mga private parties. And, it's not only Persian food that we sell. That's what our, you know, our loyal guests, they know that we can make other dishes very well. But, most people think we're just Persian. So, now it's time to show them that, hey, guys, check out our other side you know we we are international now now it's coming to the forefront that hindi lang kami limited to kebabs and that is a true test to innovation and i'm a guy who loves to eat different cuisines that's why i travel when i travel around you know i, I go to europe san sebastian i go to portugal i i get ideas people don't know that i'm a travel junkie i used to host a travel show anton on abs cbn mm-hmm. but i never stopped traveling i even travel from my own pocket, I pay. No problem. Because that is my classroom. Traveling, tasting new cuisines, eating in, you know, uh, strange lands, new countries. It opens up my mind and my palate. And that's where I get my creativity. Nung hindi pa nangyari yung pandemic, every year, like once or twice a year, I would travel somewhere for a month. And I would get ideas, new recipes. And that's, I think, how I stay ahead of the curve. Okay. And um, syempre, a lot of restaurants are diba, having problems. Paano nangyari, especially for poblacion? Are you guys helping each other out? Or is it kanya-kanya talagang survival? Para survival mode na kanya-kanyang uh, stuff? Or do you like share uh, what works and uh, there's a group that, uh, especially for poblacion, uh, that pushes everyone together? Well, we have a group uh, on... We, we, we chat on the group chats, but at the end of the day, we have different landlords and we have different business models. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't work the same for all. Like some, they're more of uh, nightlife, club lang. 
uh, or party place. Some are dining, some iba iba talaga. Eh. So all we can do is give each other sound advice and you know boost each other up. But uh, at the end of the day, I think you have to create your own recipe to survive because it, it depends on your area and your business model. Eh. Like ours, we haven't opened, but maybe some they, they've tried already to open. Eh, kami, we're still studying how we can do it. So what we're doing now is we're just revamping. You know, mga kailangan ayusin, mga kailangan i-refurbish. Kami, ginagawa namin yun ngayon. So para pag nag-open kami, mas ready na kami. Tapos nandun yung mga safety measures, yung protection from COVID, you know, the sanitizing our area. We're doing that for now. Mm, okay, yeah. So... Um, what happens now from, uh, di ba, nagbukas na yung dine-in? Um, what's your optimistic pro- projection ba? How long will this thing last uh, in, in your case? Or uh, in terms of, um, mer- meron ka ba bang mga new projects that uh, are in the pipeline to uh, to create more uh, income streams? Yeah, well, uh, we we are also... Actually, we tied up with Lazada. We're also selling frozen food in Lazada. Believe it or How not, Lazada has food. Uh-huh. Oh. How is that? It's, How is that? It's, it's doing good, actually. Uh, we we joined like last month. Uh, and then uh, what we did was uh, we inquired first. Because as I said, lagi kami naghanap ng possibility. So yung nagtanong kami kay Lazada, kasi nag inquire kami pwede na mag-frozen food. Tapos, may, may riders na naka, nare-reach namin hanggang Cavite, yung malalayong lugar na gusto rin nila matikman yung food namin. So, nag-tie up kami sa mga logistic partners din. And then, uh, soon, we're gonna be in uh, specialty supermarkets and other, uh, maybe, hopefully, groceries. We're really finding ways, Anton. It's, it's the best time to be a Boy Scout right now. <laughs> <laughs> Galing ah. Uh, well, okay ang Lazada oh nga no. I never thought of that na yeah, it would you work. Can look into it. Yeah, look Yeah, there's one. other restaurants also who are under them. And what's what's good is uh, my dad always says, don't don't be scared when people copy you because innovators, creators will always find another way to do and then imitators will just keep following what you're doing. But at the end of the day, I would be glad. I, I would gladly, if a friend of mine in the restaurant business, which uh, you know, there's a couple of them who you know come straight to me and ask for advice. I give mm-hmm. them free advice. I give them free advice yeah. just to help them out. Yeah. Okay, galing ah, galing. Um, and I think uh, um. Ganun nga yung rules of the game ngayon, no? Uh, all avenues that you can to uh, to sell uh, the products. Um, pero in Persia Grill, uh, the Persian food uh, was actually really good. But uh, are there a lot of people who are really interested with Persia food? Persian food? Well, uh, yeah, there's still a handful of people who, you know, they, they, they still appreciate it. But uh, to be honest with you, Persian's food is still relatively new to the Philippine market. When I say that, I compare it to when you say, oh, let's have a burger, let's have some sushi, let's, let's mm-hmm. have Chinese food. Mas, mas kilala yung Chinese food, Italian food, pasta, pizza. Kesa sa, pag sinabi yung Persian, ang naiisip lang nila, kebab o shawarma, which were more than that. But of course, ang una namin dinalagay, yung mga kilala ng tao, yung flagship. Yung mga, but for those who have a refined palate, they know that we have other dishes that are, you know, it takes more time and effort to prepare. But the kebabs are the comfort food. Kumbaga, equivalent siya ng uh, inasal or uh, a juicy cheeseburger sa ibang bansa. Kami, kebabs yung comfort food namin. But we have other recipes that take more time. Like if you do a kare-kare or a nilagang baka, we have that version of, we call it the abush, which is a slow-cooked uh, beef uh, with the bone marrow potatoes, different beans, and a sun-dried lemon from Iran and spices. So, talagang hearty siya. Uh, then we dip it with pita bread and eat it like that. Uh, mm-hmm. So, but, but of course, with, with if you want something easy, fast, healthy, and delicious, 
of course, you go with the best sellers, the kebabs, you know, the samosa, falafel, the hummus, Mm-mm. the usual suspects. Uh-oh. Now, a uh, question, Kian. Uh, marami kasing uh, mga taong pivoting to food, no? They're not into food. They're starting their own food. Maybe they have recipes at home then they wanted to sell. Do you think uh, that will still work? Uh, kasi ang dami na rin into food right now, labanan rin. Uh, any advice for those people starting with one or two products home-based? Yeah, well, my advice for people who are, you know, new to this game, the food game, is uh, just learn one one, one thing and learn it really well. Be really good at one thing first. And if you're going to start a business, never start big. Always start small. And it's good to start from your home and, uh, you know, and move from there. And uh, I'll be honest with you. Kasi ako, yung bago nagsimula yung Persia Grill, nagbebenta ako ng sandwiches sa loob ng classroom, Anton. Nung, uh, kasi nag-plan B ako eh. Binil, plan B. So, <laughs> nag-aaral ako sa Binil ng hotel restaurant management na gusto ko talaga, you know, food. Enjoy talaga ako sa food. Eh. It brings people together. It nourishes the body. And I also see food as medicine. You know, if you eat the right kinds of food, you can prevent uh, getting sick, you know? And uh, it's good for joint. If you eat like omega-3 fatty oil, fish oils, it's good for your joints. If you take uh, ginger, a lot of ginger, it can low, it boost your immunity. So, you know, things like that. So, what I advise is uh, people to, isang dish muna. Pag, pag nakuha mo yung wow factor, pag may kumain at laging nakikita mo lumalaki yung mata nila sa sarap, you stick to that. And then slowly add, but always have that flagship dish. Always have that, you know, one one powerhouse dish that pag may party, ito lagi dadalhin ko. Pag may special event, ito lagi dadalhin ko. And be really good at it. Secondly, I, I, I suggest that uh, don't overwhelm yourself, you know, with adding too much things. Because yung mga fads, alam mo, maraming mga craze, di ba? Ako, uh-huh. I'm not a fan of yung mga craze na yan, eh. I want a dish that will be a heritage. I call it the heritage recipe, you know, heirloom. Pwede kong ipasa sa anak ko, lulutuin niya para sa asawa niya, lulutuin para sa, you know, and so on. So, always bring out the real flavor of the food. That's what I learned. Sometimes at the end of the day, gusto mo yung, yung pagkain na nalalasaan mo talaga kung anong produkto yun. Hindi yung hindi mo na maintindihan ano ba itong pagkain na doon dami. Sangkap, <laughs> di ba? Parang ang gulo. Diba? Uh-huh. Gusto ko talaga lumalabas yung, yung fa- flavor profile. And sobrang humbling, Anton, na marinig yung kapwa mo restaurant tour na idol mo din yung pagkain nila. Katulad mm-hmm. ni Sweet Ecstasy. Si mm-hmm. kaibigan ko yan, si Al. Uh, man, I, he's my favorite cheeseburger ko yung Sweet Ecstasy. And to hear him say, man, I love your kebabs, you know, it's a sign of mutual respect from two restaurant tours. Because I... When I when I'm hungry, I eat in his restaurant. When he's hungry, he buys Persia Grill. So th- that kind of mutual respect is very nice in the industry. And like uh, uh, Chef Jordi Navar- Navarro, he's one of the best, you know. And uh, for him to say that he likes our lengua kebab. When he says, "I love your lengua kebab," pare, pare, that's an honor coming from a uh, five-star uh, general chef, pare. Yeah, Top fifty, uh, yan. So <laughs> idol ko din yung pagkain niya, Toyo Eatery, idol ko yan. Uh, yes. So, it's um, nice to yeah. Yes, we'll say hi lang to Chris. Uh kilala mo ba Chris? Uh and then Chef Archie says hi. Uh Wanta, uh nasa New Zealand yata si Chef Archie. Regards daw. Okay, hi Archie, yeah. I I I went to with Mandarin. I remember, yeah. Ito nakalain mo nagano kami pare. Uh OJT sa Mandarin Hotel pa yon yung Oriental. <laughs> Diyan wala na dinemolish na dinemo. Wala na. Ganun na magbubukas na, magbubukas na ulit. Oh, tanda mo na rin pala. Tapos 34. Oh, OJT taga bukas ng pinto, taga waiter ako, taga dish dishwasher ako sa Paseo Uno. You know, I learned I I really from the ground up. I was really uh, zero ground zero and then it that gave me the confidence I'm not scared to fail because I've been at the bottom and it's all mm-hmm. right. You know, nothing will happen. You're still alive. You can still get back on your feet. Just fail forward. Pag magkakamali ka, 
isang hakbang paharap, huwag paatras. Patuto ka sa pagkakamali mo. <laughs> Binigyan ka pa daw ng burger ni Chef Archie yung nasa gym ka. Oh. Nasa Oo, naalala ko yun. The best, the best, uh, you know, memories like that, man, priceless. <laughs> Chef Archie, I appreciate you. Naalala ko yun. Naalala ko yun. <laughs> oh, uh, um, The, uh, as we wind down, so you're still known by most people as the Pinoy Big Brother more than a restaurateur. Uh, ganun ba? Or paano bang, how do you want to be known for? Well, uh, I think before, they knew me more as a, the Pinoy Big Brother Persian guy. Now they know me as the Persia Grill guy. And now mm-hmm. they know me more as Kian Kazemi, uh, the motivational speaker. And I don't mm-hmm. know how I, I, I'm lucky to land on that. And uh, that was because of when in Manila.com when they, they, they chose top 15 um, from the Philippines, the motivational speakers. Nagulat na lang ako na nandun, nandun na ako kasi narinig pala niya ako mag-talk one time. Kasama kita nun, Anton. Tapos, uh, anong year yun? Six years ago, bro. <laughs> oh, speaker ka rin doon sa Mega Trade Hall. It was about talking about food. Food uh, entrepreneurship. And you were one of the speakers there. And then... Uh, I was there and I think it just changed the course of and I'm happy if I can if my words and my experience can inspire or help their life or business in some small way I'm, I'm grateful for that you know kasi may gumawa noon para sa akin nung lumalaki ako may mga tao na tumulong sa akin na nagboost sa akin na kaya pay it forward kumbaga mm-hmm. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, are you still connected with the ABS-CBN people? What happened to them? Di ba? Marami rin sila ng mga... Sarado na, di ba? Sarado na ba yung ABS-CBN? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there are a lot of people who need help rin, di ba, sa kanila. <clears throat> well, uh, I, I haven't been in touch with ABS-CBN for the longest time because mm-hmm. it's been ages since I've, uh, you know, I, I mm-hmm. really focus on uh, the food business and uh, right. I'm, I'm proud to say, Anton, that... Uh, I, I believe in teamwork makes the dreams work. And I'm proud to say that in a few months' time, uh, you're going to hear about K-Residence, K-Residences uh, Makati. We're opening up my dad's uh, big dream. We're opening up a 40-room service apartment or hotel-style na building. Malita building lang. Sa no, Makati. that's interesting. Oh, uh, ang dami opening, kabang na kailangan namin ibenta para matayo so yun. <laughs> during the pandemic, how, how does no, that no, work? No, no, no. Huh? We're, no, we're, we're continuing construction. It's 75% complete. So now wow. we're, we're at the complete, completion stage. So may 25% pa. So ang target opening siguro early next year. Okay. And uh, I'm proud to say we had to sell so much kebabs to go <laughs> to build that <laughs> building. Uh, gal- galing ah. Ano? On- Yung, uh, hindi, sabi ng misis ko, oh, sarap ng garlic sauce. Ano yung sikreto ba nun before we close this? Passion. Passion and love. <laughs> pawis <laughs> yata, sauce, pawis. pawis. That garlic sauce, man, it's uh, it's really addictive. My friend said, pare, I want to swim in garlic sauce. Your garlic sauce is... So, <laughs> I think we really concentrated on making that first because mahilig yung mga Pinoy sa sauces. And ako personally... Mahilig ako sa sausawan. Lahat ng pagkain ko may sausawan. Patis kalamansi, toyo sile, uh, sukang tuba, sinamak. I, I love them all. Kasi remember, Anton, I'm half Ilonggo, half Persian. We love our mm-hmm. side sauces. We like yogurt dips, mint yogurt. Next time, I'll make you try our lamb kabsa, man. You, you wait. I'm gonna pre- prepare something. Oh, syempre. Ipapatry ko sa'yo. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Can we have a photo lang for the... Yes, family? please. Okay, one, two... Okay, one more. Ha? One, two. One more solo lang, solo. Hindi ko solo. makita smile mo, Anton. <laughs> eh, okay lang yan. One, two. All right. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Um so any final thoughts, uh, Kian, for those people watching the replay or watching live now? Well, I hope you guys if you want to, you know, make uh, some small business during this time of pandemic while you're at home. We're open to resellers of our Persia Grill products. Just message Persia Grill on our FB page and we'll assist you. Or if you if you need like ready-to-eat food, you can also check us out on www.persiagrill.ph and uh, we'll be happy to serve. 
Kasama ba yung garlic sauce sa reselling mo? Or just the frozen Yes. Food? Everything. Uh, frozen and sauces. You you just pick assorted items and then the total should amount to 10,000 lang. 10, and once you, once you, yeah, once you reach 10,000, you will automatically avail of that wholesale discount. So, mababawasan pa yung 10,000 mo. Wow. Ang so, galing, mas mura ha? mo makukuha wholesale price. Oh, that's good. And then, if you have more volume, it goes up, uh, the discount goes up? Yes. The, but the, our minimum is 10,000. But if you want more, we can always uh, discuss that. Uh-huh. And uh, we're also planning, we're, we're cooking up something. It's going to be a pop-up uh, grab-and-go Persia Grill Kiosk Express. It's called PGX, Persia Grill Express. It's coming soon. I'll let you know once we pop up. Uh, it's going to be small footprint lang, madali, easy. It's built for this modern times. Uh, how does that work? Oh, nga. Uh, how, how does that? Uh, how did that idea came about? Diba? People don't go out, man. But so, meaning you're going to like neighborhoods, ba? Or the mall? It's gonna be no. It's gonna be outside the mall. Uh, it's gonna be near uh, certain communities, and it's gonna be a drive-by. You just drive by, malit lang, mga ten to fifteen square meters. Gra- drive, grab and go, ready to eat or frozen. So in your area, you're going to see something pop up, little, you know, you can just cook it at home or if you're lazy to cook, you can just get ready to eat. And uh, we're going to be rolling that out once ironed out na yung mga details. Ah, uh, galing ah. Ang dami mo ideas ah. Dami mo ideas. <laughs> kailangan, <laughs> lumalaki na yung pamilya namin. Lumalaki na dalawang anak na, di ba? So kailangan talaga oh. double uh, work, double work. Oh, that will work. Uh, again, congratulations. Thank you for continuing continue so to be motivational. Uh, I think uh, we need that uh, during these times. And thank you so much for agreeing to have this discussion. I'm honored to be with the Anton Diaz of our awesome planet. <laughs> you, you made my day more awesome, Anton. Thank you to you <laughs> and your wife. Your lovely yes. wife. And suerte mo Chinese siya. Magaling sa eco- economical. <laughs> <ha>? <laughs> so I'm gonna can I leave I'll, I'll leave yeah. your viewers with this last word okay. uh, my formula for life is Life equals the people you meet multiplied by the things you can create together. That's all I got to say. Thank you, Anton. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Ang sarap nung ano, Persia, yung mga kebab kit. I think that's a good idea, the chicken kebab. And then, kasi it's different from what you typically eat at home, di ba? <laughs> so, oh, para ano lang. Ang Sunday lunch eh. Ayun ang kinain namin lahat. Tapos my mom likes the samosa. The samosa was also very good. Then we're Galing actually na- gonna add, we're actually planning to add yung mga fresh frozen, which is uh, ima microwave mo na lang. So, Parang after niyang bagong luto, naluto na namin, the blast mm. freeze namin para maging fresh pa rin siya at ma-preserve ma- without preservatives. Just freeze it, blast freeze right away. So you just pop it in the microwave for those who are always on the move, yung nagmamadali. Uh-huh. Ma-microwave mo lang, tapos parang bago na yung pagkain, fresh food. So we're gonna add that eventually soon. Oo. Uh-huh. Kilala ka pala si Patrick, di ba? Kilala. Ano ba yan? Pinsan? Yeah, he's or... my cousin. Yeah, my first cousin. He's in charge. He, he did all the nice stickers. He's the tech guy. He does the yung QR code connecting, yung graphics. Oh. Galing niya. Oh, Schoolmates na ba yan? Bosco. Oh, sa Don Bosco. Lagi nga niya pre-overmoting for sure. Really. Oh, Bosco oh. niya. Dun sa so group. yung gumagawa ng mga assignment ko, nag-Don Bosco ako one year lang. Hindi <laughs> ko magawa yung drafting. Ano yung oh. ako sa drafting? Sabi ko, pat patulong naman. Eh, galing yun sa mga drafting na yun eh. <laughs> oh. And uh, thanks for doing this ha? Kasi nga maraming tao din rin talaga Na de-depress rin talaga And uh, people needs motivation at this time uh, Fight, 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 di ba? Uh, kahit na uh, mahirap yung kalaban But uh, we have to do it And hindi pa, di ba nagsisimula pa lang I think this will run for a few more months Na challenges and 
maybe until end of the year, who knows? But uh, I think the moment, you know, I, I'd rather uh, stand up and do what I got to do than just hide and be fearful. For, parang if I'm too afraid, it's like I'm mm-hmm. dead already habang I'm alive. I don't want to die while I'm alive. I'd rather <laughs> live while I'm alive. Not, so if uh-huh. you're living in fear too much, it's actually your mind. Eh? You can protect yourself, do the distancing and this and that. But please, don't give up on your life. Don't give up on the people that care about you and love you. Just keep moving forward. Do something. Find something to do. Exercise. Uh, read. Mm-hmm. Gain a new skill. Just don't be complacent. 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 Don't Oh, all right. Thank you. Congratulations again. Uh, Thank new you, dad. brother. Thank you. Salamat. See you soon. Regards. All right. Uh, Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.